Hello, I'm Tesla and welcome to this Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this one, we are going to create a basic moving platform using Matinee. Now this can be used in a type of side-scroller platform kind of game. So with that, let's begin. Right, so we need a platform for our level. You can bring in your own model or you can create one out of the, some simple box geometry like this and just scale it down. But I'm just going to grab this floor here in the architecture tab from the starter content. So I'm just going to move it up to about here. And now we can begin to animate this. So the first thing we need to do is change its mobility from static to movable. If we have it at static, you will not be able to animate it within Matinee. So we need to create a new one of those now. So we'll drop down Matinee or Matinee and click Add Matinee. Now we have this little tab here. We're going to right click on it, Add New Empty Group. Let's call this Platform. And now we need to assign our platform to this group. So with our platform selected, we will right click on the platform come to actors, add selected actors. Now, Before I go any further I'm going to change the animation length to 20 seconds and one thing you want to make sure you have on is the snap setting and I've got, I've got it set to 0.50 so it's just going to automatically snap between these points and if you don't have it set on it's just going to go to like 20 point something seconds so it's just easy to have it snapping. Okay so we'll right click here now and we want to add a movement track so here we can add some keyframes and start moving around and animating at this platform. So we've already got one keyframe which is, which is set to its starting position which is here. So we're going to come to 5 seconds and we're going to add a new key. So we'll click here and it's automatically snapped to 5 seconds with the snap setting and we're going to move to about here. And now you see this yellow line which is showing its motion and its movement. Now we're going to come to 10 seconds and click add key. I'm just going to move it up to about, let's say about there. Now let's come to 15 seconds, add another key. And one other thing to point out, I've got the settings here set to curve auto and this is going to just create a seamless um, transition between the keyframes. It just makes it look smooth. So make sure you play around with those and see which one suits you best. So with at 15 seconds, we're going to move it, let's say, Oh, sorry. I need to. Okay, we're going to move it here. Let's yeah, say about there. And now at 20 seconds, we're not going to add another keyframe. We're going to copy the first one and paste it at 20 seconds. Now, the reason I'm doing this is to get a seamless transition for the animation because we're going to loop it. So we want it to end up at the starting point at the end of the animation. So we're going to just paste it here. Now it's not snapped to 20 seconds so to do that we'll just select it and we'll hold left control and just drag it left or right to whichever seconds you want to go to. Okay and now if I click loop you can see how this thing is now animating and you can see it's moving quite smoothly you don't really see it stuttering okay so one last thing we need to do is um, jump in the game and when we start the game it's automatically going to be moving so say if we've got loads of these around our level so we've created a level completely out of moving platforms we want them all to move at the beginning of the game so to do that we will we should have a little um, matinee icon. We want to change it to looping because it, we're having a looping animation. So we'll come to, into the level blueprint. We will right click, add reference to matinee actor. We will drag this one out. And because we want it to play, we're just simply just going to type play. Okay, and now we need to call an event begin play node. And you can see when we click simulate, it's just playing the matinee straight away. Okay, so there we go, we have a moving platform. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and make sure you stay subscribed for any future tutorials. Cheers, guys.